Greetings and welcome to Cosmeteer. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have been asked so many times to play this game, I thought I might as well do so. I first came upon it on Avax's channel where he is playing it, and I was immediately intrigued. It looks like a lot of fun. And then people started saying, hey, when are you going to play this? So I am playing it right now. Um, this is exactly what it says, Starship Architect and Commander. Basically, it is a game where you build starships block by block, and um, ha hire a crew to command it, and then you go out and take out other enemy ships. Um, in contrast to Starship Theory, this is not about personal people, crew members. This is about the survival of the ship, um, and we hopefully will get to some of that survival very shortly. Now, this is a game that you can play right now. The This is the demo version, and it is available via IndieDB or at the official website, both of the links of which are below, linked um, in the description of the video. From what I've read on the info pages, it looks like this game is made by a single developer or possibly a small team. It's hard to tell, but it is already so nicely polished and finished, and it is currently actively going, um, undergoing development. And the dev developer helps to have this on Steam at some point, but right now the game is free for anyone to try um, because the developer wants to build a community. And there is mod support for this game um, and all kinds of other stuff. So without further ado, let us start a brand new game. So we're going to go with a bounty hunter. Um, and not use the tutorials. I've played this game about two hours, so I kind of know what the controls are and stuff like that and how to make ship. Um, creative has unlimited money. That's not fun though. We need to earn our keep, I think. Right, so we start off with a basic ship. And as you can see, we do have some crew people running around and doing stuff. Now the rooms that they're in are crew quarters and this has six beds and this one has two beds uh, and then we got we have various items around the ship now these little spinny things are these are standard thrusters you can see the thrust things these are reversing ones and these are ones to go forward the ship would go forward um, up the screen um, and then these guys are for turning and also these now it's important that the thrusters be where uh, they need to be logically because this game uses physics. So if you have your thrusters put at the very midpoint of the ship, it's not going to be able to turn because there's there's nothing to push against. So anyway, it's better to have them offset. So there, there is a lot of physics um, based uh, stuff in the game and uh, it's, it's pretty important to make very good decisions. Same thing with a uh, faster than light drive. When we get to it, we'll need to put it at the center of the ship to get the best value. Now, uh, we have various things here. At the top, we have weapons. These things are small lasers, laser blasters, and they require one crew to function. This is a command center, kind of like the bridge of a ship. This is our reactor, which produces um, energy. And energy is basically little tiny blocks of, uh, of, of yellow stuff that is needed for all of these things to function. So if we, um, we probably want to, let's see, we have 25,000 um, intergalactic credits to spend. So we're going to do that very shortly. But basically all of the things depend on all of the other things. You know, the we weapons and thrusters depend on the energy production of the reactor core, but the reactor core relies on the crew to deliver all of those bits of energy. There's not automatic delivery. They have to actually carry stuff around. So let's go into blueprint mode um, and see if we can improve our ship a little bit. First thing I want to do is we have 25,000, right? We have, um, I'm really tempted to get an ion beam emitter. Let's buy this. Okay. So let's first, I'm going to take, oopsies. No, 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 no. Delete. There we go. And we're going to get an ion beam emitter. Now I'm in mirror mode, as you can see, which is extremely handy. Uh, and we'll put this thing on the center line. In fact, we'll move it up to be like right there is approximately good. You can also turn off mirror mode here if you want to place things asymmetrically, which is very, very useful, especially if you uh, have a small ship or a small budget. Um, so we want to get that sort of... So now here is a grand place to put... A, uh, a storage spot for this energy for power right here. Perfect. Um, so basically our people 
will not have to run all the way from the reactor room, which is here. They can store stuff here um, and then basically take it to the weapons when those need it. Right, so we have 25,000 credits to make it so, a la Captain Picard, we have to spend uh, almost 10,000 to do this. But as you see, we're short on power and we're short on people. So I think it would be great and grand if we could add some more crew quarters, perhaps right here. Let's turn off mirror mode. I do not want to delete my control room. That would be slightly inconvenient. Um, so now we can turn it back on and we have our... All right, we have quite a number of things. We have 16,000 uh, so far in um, stuff that we need to pay for this change. And this blueprint mode, you can turn it off or turn it on um, and make changes literally on the fly. But in blueprint mode, you don't get penalized um, for uh, like deleting doors or whatever. You get credits back um, if you want to change your mind. If you do it in regular mode, this is... Um, no, we don't want to discard the modifications. We, we already worked hard on this. No. Um, yeah, anyway, but um, if you do it in live mode, it will change it in live mode, but then you will have to pay for stuff and, and you don't have as much freedom in editing things. Let's see. I also would love to put in a couple more um, lasers. Let's see. It's uh, this one. Ah, guns. That would be a very good symbol for a laser, don't you think? Right, so I'm going to put these here. This is going to cost us, those are 2000 a piece. So let's shove those there. 20,000 it's going to cost for this. We are now even more short of people and of power. Now the minimum required of power, as you can see, is six and recommended is 12. So we are far below that green line where we should be. The crew is kind of the same situation. But right now we're not going to have a lot of money to do with this, deal with this. So reactors 15,000 we cannot afford that on top of the other stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to make this so uh we could oh you know what we could do we could hire an ex some extra crew right how much is crew to hire crew you have to buy quarters for them and it's 6,000 to hire the crew uh as well but we can kind of um Let's see, how can we do this? We could put this here or we could put it like down here. Turn off mirror mode because we definitely can't afford two. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on this side for now or, or here. Maybe there's better for now. Uh, and what we're going to do since we cannot afford all the crew, we can say, you know what, hire just four people for now. And we're going to say make it so and boom. Uh, later on, you can say here, oh gosh, we're missing two crew members. We have basically enough beds for two more. Um, and then you can click here and just say plus max. Uh, or you can fire some if you need some money back. So we now have a grand total of 86 credits left. So it's time to go get more credits. Here we have on the mini map, and as you can see, they are uh, ferrying energy around, and they will be later as well. Um, we have three different, this is our map down here, and we have three different targets that we can go to. So let's right click on one of those, and our ship is gonna go. We are charging toward them. You can change speed up here, um, and go with the arrows to go two speed, one speed. We're almost there, so I don't wanna get, so basically, here we are, here's the ship. We can only see the details of the ship once it's in our um, our scanning range. Now this one, we cannot see what this is. Even if we zoom in, it, we can't see it. But this one, we can now see. So we need to train our wonderful lasers that we just have. This is a position it's shooting for, basically, the firing distance. So we now have all of these small blasters, four of them, and then one of these things that I forgot the name of, an ion beam emitter. That's a dangerous thing. So what we want to do is target this ship. Now this ship has a couple of lasers. So basically what I want to do is target those first, and then you can you can also mouse over the other things. There's cruise bunks, this is the control room, this is the reactor core. Now good targets I like to choose are weapons, and then I usually choose the reactor core to basically blow it to smithereens, uh, which is basically the goal of the whole thing. You can, If you target the control room, they will have significant difficulty maneuvering. So that may be a, a good target if you are, um, oopsies, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. I was 
trying to take a screenshot, but <laughs> F12 doesn't work when the game is not on Steam unless you uh, put the shortcut, which I didn't do. Anyway, um, right. Uh, control room is a good target if you want to stop maneuverability of the enemy ship, but reactor is the final target that you need to destroy in order to get any credits. So this guy is a fanged fighter. It is worth 10,000 credits, as you see on the bottom, um, and, and it has seven fuel. You can get seven jump fuel. Now that's what this pink number is. It's FTL fuel, and you need it to go to other systems. Uh, and that's an important commodity that we need to collect some of so that we can go to the rest of the universe, which we'll get to very shortly. Right, so when our ship gets here, and it is over there so far, I want it to target these guys first. So I'm going to, you can either right click on them to have a single target, or you can shift right click and it will add it to this queue so that it will fire on all targets eventually. So let's just zoom out a little bit and we're going to slow down time a bit here. So let's watch as our ship comes closer and when it gets to the firing position, which is a, a position that it chooses uh, and you can actually choose it yourself. Oh wow. And the, the range of these other weapons, basically it starts firing as soon as it gets into range. Uh, and this is kind of like where it rests um, in terms of fighting uh, firing at the other ship. All right, so here we go. We are destroying this thing mercilessly. Let me click on this so that we can just track it. Uh, no, whoops, there we go. And it will lock on here, but look at that ion beam. <laughs> it's just destroying everything. Um, the other lasers are also doing a lot of damage. The, uh, the enemy crew is... Can we see anybody? No, not, not at the moment. I might turn off that screen shake, as a matter of fact. I am not liking this because I can't see anything. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do we want... Where is it? Um, screen shake. There it is. Okay. Get. Okay. There we are. And we are decimating their ship. And basically, it is now spinning out of control. So it's going to just spin until we um, basically destroy it. So that was very successful. We now have money. Did we get hit at all? We did not get hit. Otherwise, we would need to repair. All right, let's go back to one speed for now. And as you can see, our workers are transferring energy into here, which is fantastic. We don't have enough to buy another reactor yet, so we're going to have to kill another ship. So let's go here. Just target this other ship, and you can press F to at any time to click on or to follow your your own ship, which is quite nice. There we go. So yeah, I'm letting them work and do stuff. Um, looks like they do take uh, extra time to go over the bunk beds in terms of uh, walking speed. The corridors are much faster, and there are also uh, conveyor belts, like little travelators they can they can walk on as well. Right, so here we have quite <laughs> the exact same ship. So let's also kill this guy pretty easily. Let this go. We'll go to half speed this time. And we can watch from a distance if you like. And you can see our ship firing. And they are firing at me too. We're taking damage. So let's watch our ship this time. We have this is being damaged, the ion beam emitter. So... Anything else? Did we kill? Oh, we must have killed them. There we go. So they're dead. Right. Okay. And we have run out of um, charge in storage, uh, which is kind of typical. So let us go ahead and repair. Uh, when this red wrench is here, that means you have taken damage. So let's repair all first thing. Um, uh, let's hire also two crew max. Yes. And now we have 17,000. Let's go ahead and see if we can add another reactor somewhere. Um, you know what? I'm going to wait because we just, we, we're not going to have enough to put everything that we want to put in. So let's go to the last ship on the, uh, on the map. Go up to four speed here. Here we come. <laughs> Good luck, dude. And what kind of a ship do we have here? Now, do note that this is a very easy level, and it's meant to be because you're not strong at all. So this one is a little bit different configuration. Uh, it's not maneuverable at all um, because it has no turning thrusters. This is such a sad ship here. 
Um, I might just go. Okay, so another thing that you can do is we can position ourselves at any point around this vessel. So if you right click and drag, you can go out and um, basically the red, the, the large red uh, thing is the range at which you can uh, fire. So we're going to go within this range and we're going to go from behind this guy. And basically, we're just going to target his reactor. That's what we care about. So our ship is going to try to go to this position here. Um, and then this ship, I'm hoping I'm reading this right and it won't be able to... Oh, okay, you switched around very quickly there. That's interesting. Maybe the, the enemy ships don't follow. Huh. Oh, you know what? It, they could... Okay, never mind. Anyway, we, did, we dealt with it very quickly. I'm wondering if they could use the thrusters... At, um, at the back to kind of turn a little bit. So anyway, um, I'll have to investigate that further. But we now have 29,000 credits to spend. So I think we should do that. Let's repair all and then go into blueprint mode. Right, we need energy like crazy. I think I'd love to move stuff around. We're out of mirror mode at the moment. But I think, um, let's move this here. I want to move this out here. I would love to have a hallway going through the center here if possible. So I think let's grab our reactor. We need that. Put one up here so it's more convenient for these, um, uh, what do you call it, weapons. Let's move these out as well. The thruster does not need to be right there. Um, and now I think we can go into mirror mode because we're going to... We're going to need it. Um, these two spaces can be either hallways or they can be crew quarters because we might need crew quarters uh, at some point in the future. And we have basically one... Uh, you know what? Maybe we won't do a hallway. Maybe we'll just... Oh boy. Hold on. No, no, no. Exit. Let's get our command control room back and turn off mirror mode. Sometimes it's wonderful, sometimes it's annoying. So it's kind of iffy. Um, the control room is a special room where you, you cannot use doors on the upper part of it uh, as it is there. Okay, we need to have something here. For now, we can just build up uh, a little bit of a corridor right here, or we could put armor. Let's do a corridor here and yeah, I'm thinking we could do something like this for now and that'll be fine and take out this armor here. In fact, we could, we could just make this, the whole thing be, um, probably we need to make the whole thing be better organized. Right. So let's go and move things around. I'm going to put these crew quarters here and put these over here, right? Um, I might move this there, okay? This one down here, and maybe get this reactor some, um, maybe here as well. It's very important to keep your reactors kind of toward the center of the ship so that stuff doesn't explode on them and stuff also... Um, it's also close to where your weapons need to be. That's also the reason for having storage here. Um, I think I'd like to put another storage out here as well, right there, uh, for the engines, just to have a little bit extra of stuff in case we can't produce enough to, to power all the weapons all the time. And what else can we do? We have let's see, 28, and we are, we've spent 19 so far. One of the things we must do is buy an FTL, uh, which we don't have yet. So let's get that. And we're going to have to sell some stuff because we don't have enough money. So let's put our, um, our FTL at the center of the ship. I really wish I moved all this up one. All right, FTL, you can even see how the, the efficiency changes when you move it around. Um, 95 over there, 95, 97 here. So we're going to move that reactor up here. We can have the storage go here instead. And let's put our FTL there. And we need our storage back. Can we get it? 
2000. Nope, we cannot put our storage there. So for a little while, we're going to have to make do without storage. In fact, you know what? We'll put this one here and leave that one as it is. Okay, and what else? Corridors. Let's make this whole thing basically corridors. Uh, and make sure that we can have doors where they need to be. Just make sure. Uh, let's have one here. And dee -dee -dee. we probably also would love to have a fire extinguisher. That's quite an important thing. So can I buy one of these guys? Do, 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 do. I think I deleted my only one. So we want to have this near the weapons is a good spot. Yes. And it does not put us over budget, which is we're very tight on this, I have to say. Um, right, so we have thrusters going this way, going that way, side ones as well, and forward facing ones. Now we don't have a lot of thrust at the moment, but hopefully that will be fixed shortly. Anyway, I think we can just make it so and get into the next world. So we've got our FTL drive, good, make it so. And now that things have been moved around, our people have to be hard at work again, uh, moving things to where they need to be. So let's go ahead and go to the universe, uh, the galaxy, I guess. And these are planets, and they have um, enemy fleets near them. And the uh, little symbols next to the planets indicate how difficult they are. So this here is a Sumpako, Sumpas Oska. Uh, the planet, and it's enemies four times amateur enemies. Whereas this one with two stripes on the shield is, is, okay. A Quen, uh, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not gonna even attempt to co- uh, pronounce this name. These are four times professional enemies. Um, and enemy difficulty ramps up significantly uh, at harder uh, levels. This one is Vanguard difficulty. They have all kinds of shields and stripes, but the universe is also quite large. Um, there are modes as well where you can increase the universe 10 times this size. So, uh, but remember, this is still um, an early game, early access type game. It's an alpha, and so there's a lot of features being added all the time. So let's go to the nearest one, because we don't want to spend too much fuel if we don't have to. This place here, plot an FTL jump, it only costs us six fuel. This is where your percentages come in when you place the drive. Remember, we had 97% um, of the drive placement um, rating, so basically we, we pay very little or close to the minimum in FTL fuel. Right, so our guy's going to load the FTL drive with fuel. As you can see, they're just hopping along there. And it is spinning up. Let's engage. Boom. And here we go. And we're in the new system. Sumpasoska, I think. <laughs> I'll do my best. Okay, so... We have four enemies in this sector. Uh, let's go ahead and we have very little money, so let's get our bank built up a little bit better. Let's go maybe for that one up at the top. I'm thinking, oops, let me get my, the proper mouse that I want. That one is getting awfully close, isn't it? Okay, hold on, hold on. Go a little slower. There we are. Okay, and as we're getting into range, let's find out what this ship is. Okay, so this is like one of those very early ships that we tried. So let's go ahead and, of course, target the weapons first, and then we'll get the reactor core. So let's go put this at half speed and see how the battle plays out. Getting closer and closer. All right, fire. There we go. And that beam just really hits everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. How are we doing for damage? Are we getting hit at all? Not yet. Oh, wow. That thruster. That thruster is getting hit. I need to protect these with some armor, I think. Okay. That's a good thing to do. Maybe even add some extra, uh, what do you call those things? Fire extinguishers there. Okay. Right. Let's uh, repair the ship. We did get some damage from this. Alrighty. Go to our blueprints area. And, hmm. 
Right. So we do need some more crew quarters. Huh. And I'd love to add them as well. Uh, let's see. Let's go to mirror mode and actually take off mirror mode. I want to add the crew quarters maybe over here, I'm thinking. These are reversing thrusters. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. Right. Crew. We need more crew. So we'll put in these crew quarters here. And that should give us more than enough. And as far as the rest of the ship, I would love to add a little bit of armor around here because I'm kind of afraid of... Um, of these thrusters getting destroyed. So I'd like to add some armor for these guys, I think like this. Uh, let's get the mirror mode on, there we go. And we'll add armor here as well. And then these guys could use some armor too. Um, like that. That's good. And that kind of protects it a little bit. These are also very, very exposed. Let's do that with these. Okay. And that's just a little, I think that's a little bit better than what we had before. Um, could even extend this armor here like this, um, to prevent any, sh well, it had to be a really narrow shot to hit this thruster. Um, so I think we'll keep it as it is, possibly. Okay, so this, that's power storage. We need a door here, for sure. Put this one here from to get to power storage, because it's very inconvenient to walk all the way around. I would like to have a couple more fire extinguishers, because I think right now we have kind of a dangerous situation, just slightly. Um... In fact, we have a little bit of, well, we don't have that much money. Okay, let's just build another fire extinguisher right here. Um, I would actually like to move these thrusters outward a little bit and create some space there if we possibly can. Another thing that we might start doing also is building shield generators, but these are kind of expensive. They're about 5,000 each. So let's see if we can get by with this system so far. All right and I will hasten the time so that we can load up these areas with plenty of energy cells. Can they not get here or something? This one, something is very odd here. Why are they not getting energy? They must be, uh, we must not have enough doors. Okay, let me add doors because <laughs> somehow they're not working properly. Um, let's add a door here, add a door there. I'm going to change up the doors a bit because I don't really like the way they are right now. Okay. Um, and you know what? I, yeah, yeah. Should I add a door here for the fire extinguisher? Probably no. Take this one out and, or put that one in and take this one out. So this can go to the reactor area and whatnot. I think that's okay. This one goes there. I want to make sure that my people are not like stuck totally. So they're in here. They can go this way ish. Let me put a door here. And that's good. They can go from, make sure they go from there to there to there. We can go all the way across the bottom. Go into the top part of the ship. Um, these guys are all connected here. And let's remove this door there and remove this one and that one. I'd rather have them on the other side, like here, like there. There we go. Is there a hotkey for mirror mode? M. Nice. Very nice. I can get behind an M key to turn mirror mode on and off. Um, Oh my gosh, I have insufficient funds to do so. That's a shame. Uh, right. Let me undo whatever I just did.
No, 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 no. You know what? I'm going to redo all the things and then I'm going to fire one crew member <laughs> um, because I need the money. Right. Crew, please. <clears throat> Minus one. Sorry. Sorry. I had to do it. I had to do it. Right. Uh, no, no, do not hire one crew. I just want you to make this so. Thank you. Okay. Let's go off to the next ship and see how we fare. Let's go and target them real quick. Go at one time speed. And we'll be chasing this guy down a little bit. He's much faster than we are, I think. Or it seems like it anyway. Okay, he is slowing. And what have we got here? We have a... Oh, this could be very, very, very dangerous for us. What I'd like to do is take out one of these cannons and one of the ammo storage and I think I'm going to take the opportunity to save the game. So we'll call this KOS2. The KOS1 was my earlier game that I played just off camera to practice. Right. Um, we're going to be pretty, I want to be very cautious with this guy here. Can I, I would like to position ourselves basically at the back of this character here, if possible. Let's see how this battle goes along. Because this could be kind of bad. Wait, let's slow it down a little bit. Half speed, please. Come on, take out the cannons, please. Take out the cannons. Okay, we have one cannon taken out. The other one is almost there. I really want to take out that ammo storage. Come on, come on, come on. How are we doing? Are we okay? Right. Looks like we're mostly okay. We have one of the lasers is a little bit down. Okay. And they are going to continue to hit us. Okay, we did take out all of his cannons. So let's go for the reactor core so we can just finish this off neat and tidy. But it just underscores to me that we probably could use some shields. Would be a good idea. Boom. 17,000 we gained from this. How much do we have in repairs? 375. That is not too bad at all. Right. So whew, the next thing I would love to do is get some shields. I feel like it's so, so necessary to protect us. Um, let's go in mirror mode. Here we go. So basically I want these shields to be kind of here. That's actually a really good spot for them. And, um, I could move the guns forward a bit. Do we want them here? Yeah, let's put them here. Uh, why are they unhappy? Uh-huh. Ah, yes, they are unhappy because they are in the middle of this thruster thing. So we need to delete that, this here, which isn't ideal because maybe it's, pro oh, oh my goodness, pardon my Eleonora. She's in a bit of a, a meow right now. Um, let's move these outward instead of those inward. I think that'll work better for us just in general. Okay. And what we could do with all the rest of these things is actually move these out uh, until we get, we have a central spot where we could actually add another reactor if we wanted to. So what happened? Oh, we probably deleted our reactor just now. Wonderful. Great. Uh -huh. Let's take this out and build a reactor. Uh, take off mirror mode. Yes, sometimes it does um, cause more grief than, <laughs> than fix it. Right, there's our reactor. And um, actually, let's put it in the middle and then we'll delete this one here. And energy storage might be a good thing though here instead. Mm, right, so now we have this situation. We need more crew. Um... I, I want to be fairly frugal about how we do this stuff. Uh, let's see. 
There's also the uh, the issue of armor. We need some armor on this side. Do, 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 do. Um, right, I want to move these guys up. Let's move them up by two. Mirror mode. Thank you. Yeah, this is going to give us a lot more space, but it also is going to leave us a little bit more vulnerable because we have um, more area to defend, essentially. Let's do this for now. Let's protect these from the sides. I'm watching my money very carefully. <laughs> Armor there, and we'll get a little bit of a wedge here for now. This is probably going to change quite a lot as we go along in the game. Um, right now I'm concerned that we have less crew than we want. So I think I'll, I'll put in crew quarters, but maybe not populate them just yet. We're also short on a reactor, so I'll put the reactor probably right there. And we'll have our crew quarters here. So let's turn off mirror mode for the moment. And... Um, Put this here and then put the fire extinguisher above it so it's a little bit more aligned or better aligned I should say. Corridor door, no no no. Do 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 do. Fire extinguisher, yes please, right there. And higher crew zero. Wow, we still do not have enough money for this. So it's like an well, no, what did I, what did I buy? Oh, okay. Fire five crew. No. Um, can we hire two crew? Something. Can we get nah, maybe one crew? Could put this here. No. You know what? I think we can leave it as it is. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll build another fire extinguisher on this side. I think that's a wise thing to do. Just we have them accessible to all the things. There we go. Okay, we can get across to these different places. That's good. Um, so these are open corridors right here. We could delete this corridor right there, like this. Um, if we wanted to, and even this here, we could delete that one as well and delete that and maybe even put in armor that is do, 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 M mirrored this way. Like that. Yeah, that might be fine. And then this could be like this instead. And we'll get rid of this thing. There we go. Okay, it looks very interesting <laughs> for sure, but we have shields. We have shields. That's the operative and interesting thing here. Um, we have these, these are unprotected. The crew quarters are unprotected and also these engines are unprotected. That does not make me feel very much better. Um, but let's get our, let's get these things protected a little bit from here and then put in these bits of armor there insufficient funds. Really? Meowie? Meow. All right, what if I put in this instead of that? <laughs> it doesn't make it better. Um, okay, there's, a, there's another compromise that we can do, and that would be this. Aha, this works. Okay, so we're going to go with this for the moment until we can get a little bit more funds-wise to get things going. Okay, we'll make this so... Right. Okay. So everybody hop to it. Get stuff delivered, please. Okay. Shields are up. Okay. Let's wait till they fill all the storage containers. And let us... Let's save the game. Right. Good, good, good. Yep. And we'll go down here. I'm kind of terrified that I'll die one time, <laughs> I have to say. I I don't want to die, but I might. So I want to try to avoid that. I it's I'm new to this game, and I don't want to die. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh man, because I want to build a cool ship. 
So we're going to find out what this is. What are we after today? This is going to be, whoa, it's got standard cannons. So again, I think we're going to go for the cannon and the ammo storage. I would like to come up to this ship and hit it from the back if possible. There we go. So we're going to set our alignment that way and hopefully we can get there. Now I'll turn it down to half speed so we can see how we're going to focus on this and function in this kind of area and hopefully maybe see how how the shields work. Shields would be good. Can we fire? We are firing on them. They're not firing on us yet, which is surprising. Okay, how are the shields going to work? Are they Oh, they are blocking. They're blocking stuff. This is excellent. I'm very happy about the situation. Good, good, good. Okay. And we took out that whole side of the ship. Excellent. Let me choose, choose those. And then of course, later the reactor core. That's fine. Okay, beam of, of danger and destruction. Looks like you have to be directly facing this for the, the beam to do specific target damage. It doesn't seem to like change directions at all. All right, I'm gonna delete this position so that the ship can fire it well. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, we did not die. This is excellent. I am quite pleased about this. Okay, let us um, make improvements again to the ship. Why not? Okay, this is actually kind of fine. I think it's all right, but we definitely need more crew. Let's turn mirroring off for now and add crew quarters here. Um, hire all of the crew, please. Can we build a reactor? We would love to have another reactor. Um, putting it down here, however, is kind of dangerous, I think. Well, we can armor it in later, I suppose. Um, if we put it up here, we, I would rather put, I would rather move out these uh, the side thrusters and stuff like this. In fact, these side thrusters may not actually work very well because they are almost at the they're probably at the midline of the ship. So I might think about just taking those out. Okay, I think that would be fine there. Um, we have 2100. Let's, we have to tone that down a bit. Yeah, let's just do this and not add any more costs at the moment. Um, should I move these? I could move these like up here. Oopsies. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? I did not want that to happen. So that should aid us in turning a little bit better, I think. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. We don't have enough crew, but we're, we're getting there. We're trying our best. Okay. And I don't want to move this reactor up any further because if they take out our cannons or our laser blasters, we, they could easily take out the reactor and take out half the ship. So let's make this so this way and we'll hire crew as we fight the last of the baddies on this level, right? Sounds like a good plan. Yes. Thank goodness. Saving is very quick. All right, let's go there. Oopsies. Hold on. Uh, ship, why don't you go there for a minute until you just put in all the extra energy that we're going to need. Actually, we could just go on to our next destination. It's not going to be that bad. Let's go to four speed. It's interesting the way this, uh, this grid works here. <laughs> I find it quite amusing. It's like, um, it doesn't look like you're getting any closer, but what it's happening is that the, um, the squares are getting bigger. So as you, as you move in, you know, the squares just get larger and larger. So it's kind of a funky thing. All right. Um, and pause, see what we got on our radars here. This is a, wow. This is a very tiny shippy. There we go. Just kill it dead. I don't care about anything else. Let's go into half speed. See if you can take this down should be very, very easy. The, the ones that we would have been more worried about are the, the ones with those other, um, 
Uh, cannons. I think they're called cannons. There we go. You just hit that ship for all you're worth. Come on. You can do it. That laser beam. That is so funky. Very, very nice. Okay. So I think the, the next thing we can do is uh, warp to another system, but um, we have no more time for this episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Uh, take care of yourselves and each other. And next time I will show you, um, uh, I'll probably paint the ship and I'll show you how the painting works and the decals and stuff like that that you can do. And we will uh, name the ship as well. So thank you again, and I will see you next time. Take care.